As you can see, we have a cruiser kit here laying on the floor uh, and can be shipped anywhere around the world. Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian. Today I'm going to give you a how it's made tour of the Zenith Aircraft Factory here in Mexico, Missouri. Coming up right now. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. Call me the Joker, call me the fool. When she calls, I always see her lose my cool. Baby, I'm just a mouth to your whole plane. And don't you know that love and you is a train wreck waiting to happen? Don't you know that love and you is a train wreck waiting to happen? Hi, I'm uh, Travis Kobush, uh, production manager at Zenith Aircraft, and I'm going to give you a little tour and just show you how we do some things here in the shop to build our product. Okay. So this is some shelves we have that have all of our parts in stock. Um, we UPS out daily, so anyone that's uh, building a kit that wants to um, scratch build or build a section at a time, need a replacement part, we pretty well got you covered all the time. So every part at Zenith Aircraft goes through a quality control process to where we've checked for things like material thickness, that the part is bent to the correct angles, the right orientations between rights and lefts, that the lightning holes are put in properly, that every part, that every aspect that makes that part important is checked for. When that part passes QC, it gets the part number and label stuck on it, and that is our QC stamp. As you can see, we have a cruiser kit here laying on the floor, and that's for someone to pick up here at our open house this weekend. If it was going to be shipped, it would be put into a crate much like this one. It's already sealed up. Uh, and could be shipped anywhere around the world. The aluminum that we use here at Zenith Aircraft is uh, 6061 T6 aluminum, and we range in thickness from 16 thousandths of an inch thick all the way up to 3 sixteenths of an inch thick for our sheet material that we have in stock. I get it in and I have it what's called paper interleaf, so that as it makes its journey here from whether it's across the United States or Europe, uh, it's protected. And then this paper helps us pull it off the rack without getting uh, scuff marks on it, so we're ready to go into the router. This is a CNC router that we program here at Zenith to cut and drill nearly all the holes that, uh, for the parts that make up the airplanes. You can see over here we have a, a tool changer with all of our different tools necessary for each job. The program is going to have the router start, pick up the correct tool. It will automatically change tools to do the next job that's required. And at the end, we're going to have a whole table full of parts. So the material we put on the rack or on the router is held down in place by vacuum so that the cutter doesn't move it. And you can see how strong this vacuum is. I can't pull it at all.
our CNC press brake. Um, it's responsible for pretty much all of the parts that get bent at Zenith Aircraft. Uh, we have uh, multiple dies and punches that creates the different radiuses needed, um, as well as uh, helps certain parts have enough clearance to be formed. Um, it has a CNC back gauge that allows me to put parts in and uh, get different flange lengths as well as different degree of bends, all on the same part, all within the same program, uh, without laying the part down and reprogramming for the next bend. So we'll take the blank off of the router and we'll put it on our male rib form block. We're going to align our tooling pins, which guarantees that all these match drilled holes are going to fit the wing uh, skin the way they're supposed to. We're going to take our block and we're going to put it up in our rib pressing machine. He's going to align the punch and flange and remove the material and flange the lightning hole in one step. Perfect. He's dragging it across it. At Zenith Aircraft Kit, when we supply you the kit, all of the parts are pre-welded. And the only welding process we use is TIG welding. That's tungsten inert gas. Um, some people from previous generations would refer to it as uh, Heliarc, but it is uh, TIG welding and it is the most pure form of welding uh, for this thin material and the type parts for aircraft. Uh, our aluminum tanks are made from 25 thousandths of an inch thick all the way to 32 thousandths of an inch thick. And we have uh, beads rolled into the tanks so it removes the vibration from the skin to stop the weld from ever developing a crack over many years of use. We weld all of the controls, the landing gear, the cabin frames, the engine mounts, and all of our welding for the steel parts is done in a fixture 100% uh, so we don't have warpage when the part is heated and cooled. Many of those fixtures have drill guides so that we're able to continue our match drilled process through our welded parts. Excellent. Parts are harder to separate sometimes. Final part. And that's pretty much everything that's manufactured there at Mexico, Missouri. The sheet metal and weldments. Uh, most other parts are made in uh, Zenair in uh, Canada. Uh, especially like the quick build kits and so forth. Hang out here just for a second. I'll share some B-roll footage of the Zenith aircraft line.
If this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe right now and uh, hit, the, uh, hit the like button on this video and the bell notification for future videos. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much for helping me build this channel and to continue to reach more people about experimental light sport and ultralight aviation. I invite you to head over right now to wixaircraft.com to check out a variety of tools available to you right now to be able to build the aircraft. Check out Wix Aircraft also for all kinds of aviation related supplies that you may need for your, for your aircraft. And remember guys, just build it.